messing around with that a little bit down my own time a little bit um i had just messing around with some ridiculous things so we have a we played some king crab stuff oh my god music too much no i want the options menu i can't get it from this screen So let's check out some multiplayer fittings and think if we can see if we oops uh, see if we can check out some multiplayer fittings. So the only problem with this is it, it's going to be a little bit slow. I want to make a couple lances and try out a couple different things and see what we can do with that. So we're going to be here on the fitting screen for a while here, guys. That's okay. That'll be fun. Um, where do we want to start? Do I want to build 25 ton mech fights? Could do. And... Alright. So maybe there is a use for things like PPCs or medium range auto cannons like the AC-10s and AC-2s, excuse me, long range auto cannons like the AC-5s uh, AC and AC-2s or medium range auto cannons like the AC-10 if we're basically not running a max armor build on it because we can't because of tonnage or whatnot. So I kind of think we should figure out what we want our core to be. Um, LRMs are not super damage efficient. If we look at what's most efficient damage wise, it's gonna be medium lasers. But after that, it's SRMs, and then that's about it. Oh, and machine guns. Machine guns and small lasers are incredibly, incredibly damaged or ton efficient. Um, but we're not always gonna be able to get super close like that. So, and we don't have to. Like the, the run in and brawl strategy with the only really works in the, in the single player because the enemies are repeatedly willing to engage you with bulwark. Uh, and I don't expect actual human players to be willing to do that they're not just going to shoot sit here shooting at your bulwark characters so maybe some medium range weapon systems might actually be worth something and certainly getting critical hits on components is actually quite valuable in multiplayer so i don't know let's look at uh let's look at designing a lance with some i don't know maybe like one either heavier assault with the with a couple like more moderate sized ones around it especially for 25 tons uh, what does that scream to us for stuff? Can you buy a crab? Yeah, I mean you don't buy stuff in, in multiplayer. You just and you just pick what you want. All the all the stuffs are there. And you can customize it all. So we could do a crab, but I don't really know that we want to do a crab. Let's go look at hardpoint layouts. So I want a medium damage dealer with decent hardpoints. The Jaeger is heavy, right? Yeah, because that's pretty close with four ballistic hard points or uh whatever hard points so let's look for three two not a lot of that has three hunchback has three auto cannon hard points so does this version oh that's mine that's a duplicate And then it gets pretty poor picking, and there's four on the cicada, but the fuck can we even... Is that possible to, like, load this thing? Let's go look at the cicada. It's something I would never, ever remotely consider using in, uh, in single player. Can we do something with in multiplayer? It has the worst components of a medium and a light mech. Let's see if, uh, you know, the armor of a light mech and the fucking uh, initiative order of a medium mech. Let's just try, oops, see what we can do for actual auto cannons on it if we want to. Tens don't really have the range, Optimus 300, maybe 480 is quite a lot. What's the uh, missile range? 20 so that is actually outside of LRM range that's suddenly interesting AC 5s AC 2s AC 2s are a medium laser though <laughs> I 
I want to like you, Cicada. I really do. <laughs> but with no ammo and two guns and no fucking armor, you're at zero. <laughs> Let's. So what are you supposed to do with four auto cannon mounts on that? You put them where you want. Yeah, that's, that's useful. All right, so let's do the opposite then. Let's go up to kind of the larger extreme of a medium mech. Uh, Griffin's at zero, 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 three on the Shadowhawk. That's promising. Shadowhawk's a decent mech. Trians one. Three on the hunchback. Alright, so we're looking at hunchbacks and shadow hawks. Let's try the hunchback first, see what we can do with it. Hunchback's a strong mech. Alright. Also, uh, not arm based. Which for a long range mech is a little bit unfortunate because it just gives up accuracy. Uh, so if I strip all the armor, what do we actually have for fitting? So we have the hunchback then is 32 point, uh, or 31.5 tons. And what is the, and this is on a 50 ton chassis, right? Okay. What is the settings on the, the uh, Shadowhawk? Uh, also center torso, almost exactly the same. In fact, Let's strip armor and strip equipment. Twenty-seven out of fifty-five. Uh, so we're looking at twenty-eight tons of fitting. So it actually has less. Oh shit! Did I do that wrong? Do you guys remember if I said there was thirty-one point five tons of fitting on the hunchback, or if it was thirty-one point five tons without it? So I think this means that the hunchback has better, better weight for fitting, better weight for damage, anyways. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, really, I think I have it. So, um, but sure. So let's go mess around the hunchback. Shadowhawk is way faster. Okay. Yeah, I think I have this spreadsheet somewhere. Yeah, I do. Yep. But, yeah, I should probably be referencing for that. Hunchback's also lighter, though. So, I don't know. So, strip armor, strip equipment. Clearly, I'm not going to want zero, zero armor, but, you know, hey. Let's look at the AC2s. Uh, how was the AC2's damage per ton? A fives are a little bit better. Fives are kind of stand out better. So we look for a couple AC fives if we can fit them. We actually can fit three AC fives on there. is zero armor right now literally zero I might be a little bit optimistic how many rounds is this 15 rounds It's gonna pull out in seven. It's kind of awkward when I split that up. So this is jump jets. We don't have heat sinks for this. Because uh, I mean, the idea of shooting three medium lasers at long range is not super exciting. You're like, oh my goodness, three medium lasers. I'm in luck. Ah, I was looking for heat, wasn't I? This is this does not produce much heat. Oh, that's interesting. There's no actual need for heat sinks there. So it would need to uh, 
distribute some of that armor. God, that's so light. Someone looks at it, it dies. You need the jump jets and an artillery piece? Yeah, you sure do. This is a line of sight artillery piece. So it absolutely fucking needs jump jets. It's never gonna be able to hit anything ever. Which would make it entirely useless. This is very glass cannony. And it doesn't actually do all that much damage. So we have 25 shots of AC2s, 30 shots, which are 15 rounds of AC5s. And it's literally just an auto cannon boat. I mean, we don't have to all in a weapon system. There's nothing saying that we have to all in this. We could try to assume. Does it have missile mounts over here? What about a more mixed roll on one of these? Extra glass, not much cannon. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna agree with that. Okay, so this was the pure AC version. Um, I guess I should just label it. How much damage is this? 90 and 25, so it's 115. Uh, I guess it's 115 ranged jump jets. It runs cool and low armor. I don't know what that. I don't know how to say that. I need like an um, armor minus or fragile, or I need a small letter word for fragile. Okay, FRA done. Okay, we are using our max heat dissipation. We're generating 25 points of heat. The mech uses uh, dissipates 30, and we have jump jets, which we'll be using every single round. This actually perfectly uses our mech's heat distribution. Uh, whether or not this is any fucking good, well. All right. Oh, yeah. The consecutive firing thing for autocannons is definitely an issue, too. It's a good point. I hadn't thought about that. Um, but I, I want to look at. I don't just want to like run that. I just wanted to. I wanted to be playing around. Part of the the enjoyment of this for me is potentially looking at weapon systems that weren't very good in the uh, in the basic game, but might be good here. What is the difference between a Shadowhawk Umber? Did I make this? Doesn't look like my build. Go away. So this might be interesting. This is gonna have one ballistic card point. We should also look at the impact on this in a mech. Let's, let's take a quick look at this one now. Okay. All right, um, are we looking for range damage? Or are we looking for, so I wasn't trying to build a ranged lance. I was looking at ways to efficiently do damage from long range. Cause I feel like lights are pretty fragile. So let's, let's just do a generic, let's build like two or three lances to like start with. So maybe the front one has like a big brawl mech with some uh, DPS support, right? 
All right, what do we want for our big brawl mech? Do we want to go assault or do we want to go uh, heavy on that? I mean, I love the grasshopper, but I'm thinking, you know, stand and take it with some ability to return fire. Maybe, maybe bulwark in the front with that. I don't know. We'll think about it. Doesn't need to be as heavy as a crab. Uh, I'll try to message you during the break, Aqua, or see if I can do something. But thanks for letting me know. It won't be the end of the world, but it's unfortunate. Let me know if that persists. I seem to remember, like, last year or something, there being some issue and I had to reset something. But anyways, let's take a look at this. What do we want? What do we want? A crab? Do we want something smaller? Is it worth making that, uh, doing the heavy to light, or the heavy to ultra heavy? Is there somewhere I can see on this very sweet, um... I would like hard points that aren't super vulnerable, and I would like damage that can be done at medium range, so I'm not just doing nothing each round. And that's the biggest heavy, right? The Orion and the Black Knight. It might be fun using one of those. Hard points are lasers. Laser hard points don't do a lot at medium range. Missile hard points. I mean, I guess I could medium laser volley them, but it doesn't sound exciting. All right, Aqua, thank you. What's the Orion and Black Knight's tonnage on that little thing? So if I look down here at the Black Knight and the Orion, what am I actually looking for? Three tons, that's what I want. Uh, Black Knight and Orion. The BL6B KNT has 48 free tons. That guy there, I guess. Oh, but we don't have a 6B. That's just a 6. Okay, sure. Let's take a look at it. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Uh, I have a couple of support weapons. Three support slots isn't bad. Certainly don't want PPCs or large lasers because I'm not terrible at this game. Uh, small laser on the head is, I guess there's no support mods, so I guess that's fine. We want jump jets. Zero four right now. Let's fix that. All right, um, let's max that armor. Not rocking too heavy of a loadout right now. I'm not super excited by this either. Could be fine with machine guns. How's the punching damage of the Orion versus the Black Knight? Black Knight's 95, Orion's 95, so it's about the same. Should be plenty of machine gun ammo. There's no way to put anything else on here. How's the actual heat sinking right now? Two, four, six lasers. I mean, lasers actually aren't particularly good accuracy. Oh, I can get another laser on there. I 
Don't I have another laser heart point too? Two, four, five, six, seven. Where's my last? It says eight. Two, four, six, seven. It's a laser heart point there. Oh, that's annoying. It shares the uh, shares the heart point, huh? All right. Well, that used up all my available anything. Uh, so this is two, four, five, six, seven, eight lasers. Going to be pulling in 80 heat. This is how much? One, two, no way near enough. Not even close to enough. This is eight, 10 heat sinks. So let's drop that again. Throw the machine gun back on there, it's fine. It's really too many lasers that I'm ever gonna be able to fire, I think. Unless I'm not firing very many times in a row. What are the Orion's hard points? What if I had some, I mean, this is like suddenly, and like this, this is already exciting to me because I'm looking at this and I go, um, this is medium lasers. And I'm suddenly like, well, what I'm envisioning this guy doing is kind of jumping in and getting sight. And if they come close, trying to get behind him and kill something, which means that a lot of his time is gonna be spent out of optimal range of medium lasers, in which case, Maybe he wants mixed weapon systems. I like feel like there should be a collective gasp because at no point in the campaign have we wanted mixed weapon systems at all, ever. Um, that looks promising. This is mixed weapon systems there. Largest heavy we can do. What else has that? Can I fit a mech to alternate ACs and PPCs to avoid the accuracy penalty and lower heat on every other turn? Maybe. But you're going to find heat's a lot less of a problem in multiplayer uh, because you're willing to take structure damage a lot of times. There's only five structure damage per uh, per turn that you're overheating. Although I guess that can set off ammo. Uh, what are we doing with this guy? So we're going to look at the Orion. There's a button for that. We should have done that. Let's max that armor out. And where does that leave us for other things? That leaves us potentially rocking an auto cannon of some sort there. Maybe a 10. What's the 10's optimal? 300. See, that's kind of nice. It's like a mid range weapon. What else has optimals of around that range? If I sort by optimal, what are we looking at? To copy these and take a look over here for three sixties and AC five, three hundred on that, three hundred on a large laser, three sixty on a PPC. Hmm. Do I want to try a PPC on this guy? Do I hate my life? I mean, a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you want to do anything else with that? See, that's not going to scare anybody, though. The goal is to not want to let them come close, because they don't want to come close, because they don't want to be wrecked by medium lasers. On my arms. It's questionable. What's SRM ranges? Optimal 180 and medium laser 180 as well. Yeah. Yeah, I could run one PPC on one of these arms, like that arm. And throw an SRM4s in here. Deliberately try not to be heat efficient. Like that, maybe. Oh, waste too much. Before heat sinks, before jump jets. Can't do that. It's fucking sucking up all my weight right now. Auto cannon, huh? All 
All right. This is no heat sinks right now. What does this generate? Around 15 per round. Do we have any way to get longer range out of this without fitting LRMs? Is the 10 the spike in damage or is the 5 the spike in damage? Five is slightly better, but the optimal is starting to get unexciting. It's 15 rounds, eight rounds. Thanks, Fendable. Appreciate that. So I don't have any SRM ammo on this right now. Makes it awkward for shooting someone. Oops. Now we're overweight already without our second medium laser. Do I want to bother with SRMs here? I like the stability damage they do. I don't like their spread out damage for this. What if I don't call it too inefficient with that? Throw another medium laser on here. So you can do 100 damage if something gets in close. What is our punch damage? Could I possibly do like a, a like a medium range brawler that just punches if they get in close instead? And like therefore get the double efficiency of not having to mount. I mean these are so dirt cheap to mount in terms of weight, but maybe. I mean if I look at that uh, thing again, that point we almost want to go up a level. If we go to the awesome, which is the lightest assault mech at 80 tons, it does 120 punch damage. Which is a fucking lot. Too bad only basic stuff is here. You can't get any cockpit mods. You can't get any uh, like punch damage. It's an interesting idea though. It's a PPC way. Seven. I could fit a PPC in an AC5, I think. But the nice thing about the AC-10 is you can pretty much use that in close range as well if they do come closer. I mean, it has a minimum range. No, it doesn't have a minimum range. So if they do come in range, you can point blank them with that too. As soon as I switch to an AC-5, I run into minimum range issues. Minimum range of 90 isn't too, too bad, except when you uh, don't have good pilots, and we won't have good pilots in here because you have uh, pilots of a pretty low level. So if I pull that, pull that, pull the plug that in, I can actually fit a PPC on that if I wanted to. Clearly that would become AC5 ammo. I mean, AC5 is only doing uh, 45. So this would allow me to either alternate PPC and AC rounds. At kind of halfway reasonable optimals. Optimal of 360. I'll let we throw in probably like two two heat sinks here, like that. Pull off a little bit of armor. So the point of it would be to be able to jump jet around, get in position, soak enemy fire as much as possible. Um, if they close, do serious damage to them. If they don't close, then uh, still have some ability to hit them while giving line of sight for our other guys. You know, we could try to see what the PPC and the AC-5 are like, see how much we hate it or not. Let's try that. Let's try it. See what it says, how it feels. Oh, this is the Orion too. Okay. 
All right, so we're, I want I want a match with something to try out uh, that. So let's go build a lance and build a new lance. And the new lance is going to use that Orion. Why does this guy have a symbol here? I don't know. But if we plug that in, this is 9.1 million of our 15 million. So it's quite an expensive mech. We then pull in like a hunchback. What do we have? Two light mechs in the hunchback? How can I possibly have a wounded mech here? Oh, it's not. It's just exposed structure. No, we can't we can't do anything near that. Like that's way too expensive. Oh no no. Is that a fifteen? I lied, it's not way too expensive. So we could then throw in like urban mechs or something in here if we wanted to. Is that right? Yeah, we actually have quite a bit of tonnage left because this was cheaper than I thought it was. Can we get two of these hunchbacks? The premium of those subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. We could be putting more things in this. Welcome, uh, Kirsten Darkin. Thank you very much for the sub. So if we wanted to, we could run all the auto cannons here with these AC5, AC5, AC2 auto cannon build here. Which sounds fucking terrible. All right, so we want like a, we want other reasons to encourage them. We want an LRM boat in here instead. Do we want to mix LRMs and auto cannons. I don't really like the idea of auto of LRMs particularly. So I could pull one of these. Can I get uh, like a grasshopper in there? It's over by half a million. Let's get a grasshopper and an Orion in here. Grasshopper is always such a pleasant surprise, though. Surprise! Grasshopper just killed you. Do I commit to? The, do I just commit to this long range shit? Can we do any sort of better long range boat then? I mean, it sounds like we can do about a 65 ton long range setup if we wanted to. Like that screams like a catapult to me or something. Is there an auto cannon variant of a catapult? Auto cannon variant of a Jaeger mech. I know that. We've used it. So if we plug in one of those and like rebuild that a little bit better. That's really close. I don't think there's any more weight to be had on those hunchbacks, but possibly on the Jaeger mech. And we have no lights in this lineup at all. Two heavies, two mediums. Which guarantees they go first on the heavy phase because we have two mediums, unless they have more than two mediums. Guarantees we go first on the medium phase, which I like. And it guarantees nothing else for that. Let's go see if we can refit the Jaeger over here. I think it won't let me leave right now. Okay. We'll pull people in, but we're not doing this quite yet. So let's go edit ourselves the Jaeger mech. Or maybe not even a Jaeger, maybe we go with a 60 ton. 60 ton is right over the limit though, right? It becomes the first heavy. Quick draw is any good? Oh, why is this Jaeger so much lighter? 6.6. .6. Is that the one I dragged in or did I drag the 7 in? I 
grab the 6.67 in. That's 25.3. Need to drop that. All right, let's uh, copy this up. Do some editing. Okay. Centurion has good uh, hard points. Okay, keep that in mind. If we drop these medium lasers, that's 0.12. Drop this back armor. We're going to be such a fragile lance like this. It's not like they put any fucking armor on this mech. That's still not enough. It's just too much uh, has no jump jets either it's just too expensive right now okay so um, maybe we rather than run um, well let's finish fitting this or let's not finish finishing that let's look at dropping one of the hunchbacks to pick up one more uh, like a centurion or something so hunchbacks 50 where's the centurion centurion's 50 as well Hunchback actually cost me less than a Centurion. Maybe like one of the like the Blackjack that has auto cannon mounts and laser mounts. So you know what fucks me though right now is a close range group that refuses to uh, to give me line of sight on them ever. Well, what are they gonna do if they do that? They're not gonna do anything. Okay. Let's try looking at the blackjack. We want to make it into a medium range. Like AC5 style thing. Definitely needs jump jets. These jump jets are amazing. And I wouldn't mind giving it a PPC. There's no way it can run a PPC, but that I can give it like fives, two fives maybe. You have returned. That's a quick way to get it up to its weight. All right. Hey, Cubix. Thanks for the resub, man. Oh, duffler. All right. Uh, on the arms for accuracy. It's not the not the damage dream here. I, mean, I kind of just want to go try it to see like all the things we can learn in a single fight for how fucking terrible it is. Are there more auto cannon mounts available? There's not. Um, if I drop AC5s for AC2s, I can increase this by uh, AC2s weigh me six, AC5s are weighing eight. I can get four tons back. Doesn't change anything. How do I feel about this thing? Mm, I'm not very excited about it. This is why I haven't been using auto cannons because they're extremely low damage. Could get rid of back armor, but for what? I have plenty of heat on this. Could get at least a one laser on it, one or two lasers. Do we live the dream? This machine gun weigh half a ton, and the ammo weighs one. We'd have to get 2.5 tons for that. What does the laser weigh? Just one ton, half a ton. 
Alright. Can we get half a ton of armor off this? Not really. I mean, if I pull all the back armor, but that's really optimistic. Would I like to brawl somebody? No. All right. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. You can tell it's amazing. Uh, what is it? Actual damage for this? It's like gonna be ninety. Ninety. Is it AC five? Uh, it's cold by 10 and yeah fragile okay all right so let's go back to our lance and see if we can get this lance to do something for us So we're going to have to give up one of our hunchbacks and throw in that, uh, whatever it was, that one. We're now just under the 25k. Have we set up our Jaeger yet? This is not ours, right? No. So we need to go set up our Jaeger. So I said, it takes a long time to set up your stuff for multiplayer, especially if you get a number of lances. It's going to be better about the naming scheme, or we'll make ourselves very frustrated with this. So, where's my other... Jaeger. I'm not even convinced this is better than running two and two like this, but anyways. Okay, uh, I'm looking for a 65-ton mech. Where would you hide? Probably around the 65-ton mark. And what would you look like? You would look like... Some silly guy with no fucking arms. Those are thunderbolts. There you are. And it's this variant, if I remember correctly. Okay. So what does this give us? AC5, AC2s on the arm, AC2 ammo on the chest because we want to explode and die, apparently. Uh, I don't need medium lasers. Any jump jets? Overweight with just the jump jets. This thing has almost no armor already. Um, is it possible to drop the AC for more AC2? So these are essentially medium lasers, what this is, but it's medium laser that will shoot at a long range. They're all AC boat. How much heat does four of these generate? 20. So we can jump jet to our heart's content. How much ammo is this game? 15 rounds each. So we're guzzling four per round. I think another AC2 ammo. AC2 ammo would be fine. Got a ton free. Ton of armor? Yeah, we need a ton of fucking armor on this. These arms. Get you fucking HP management here. Too much ammo? Uh, oh, 25 rounds each. Yeah, I don't need 25 rounds each. So I must have read the AC5. So this is actually doing four per round, and this is 50 rounds is fine. Get that going for it. More armor. All right, legs are a bit weak. Something like that. All right, sure, sounds terrible. Okay, uh, this is 100. 
Runs cold. All right, we're pretty mobile. And we're pretty fucked. Not using four utility slots. Let's try it. All right, let's see how the auto cannon brawl team does. Easier to hit shoulder than arm. Not, I think it just depends entirely how you're facing. So I, I want to try this out and get some feedback immediately. Uh, all right, so let's edit this lance. Let's pull out theirs, put in ours. Um, I want pilots now are relatively important. That guy needs health on his pilot. Uh, and he needs probably bulwark. Do we have bulwark sensor sweep somewhere? Yeah, we do. Although that may not be the one we want. So what is this set up with? This is set up with PPC and an AC5. So we're actually able to shoot pretty much every round if we want. So bulwark maybe, but not sensor sweep. Sensor sweep for somebody else maybe. So I want health. We need guts of at least five. Do you guys remember the difference on guts five, guts six for when you get the HP point? That'd be super nice to know right now. Uh, guts. 6 is 15 overheat. It's actually a very good one too, though. Okay. Uh, got 6. Bulwark. This is actually pretty good for us. Let's run that. Let's run Buckshot down there on the Orion. Um, Guts also has recoil, right? And where does that uh, work? Recoil is at five, is minus one recoil. So we should do that. We have got six there, got six there, got five there, got eight there. Really? So we're going to need sensor sweeps for this group. Consider putting it on bucks on this guy or not. We'll have to think about whether or not we like this like this. We might end up moving it away. The guy with sensor sweep down there could be super helpful too. But I mean, he has good damage if he can see someone, but it's just he's also going to be our frontliner. So I care about HP and I care about... Um, some of them can get breaching shot. I don't know that I have a large enough weapon that I care about breaching shot. Could run it for him, but I don't want him moving. The rest of them are gonna be moving a lot. So our sensor sweep are, let's just pull down the guys with sensor sweep who have decent gunnery. Uh, this guy has that. He's gunnery four, I don't know if that counts. Also has gunnery four. Also gunnery four on the sensors. Or did I miss a sensor? I don't think so. Do I need three sensor sweeps here? I would like movement oriented things would be great. Do any of them have a, a lower range than the others? So AC2s are extreme range, 480. Hunchbacks are with AC5s. They're a little bit worse, right? 360 is still decent. So this guy is probably wanting the movement perk. Evasive movement. Can we get an evasive movement here as well? I guess like that, because it's probably gonna be one of scanner sweep. So where's the evasive movement we could get here? Uh, super low accuracy. That's a decent mix, so Guts 4 is an issue. So we get Guts 5 and Movement. That's Guts 4 as well, and so is that. These things don't run hot, though. The other Movement bonus is 2, Movement bonus is 4. 
movement bonus in six. Okay, that one appeals to me. Let's do that. All right, let's try this. I think this is um, this is gonna be. Let's try it. Now, of course, someone stream sniping this is gonna be fairly annoying, but I want to just try it out. So, let's go check it out. All right. You might be AFK. Oh, doesn't look like it, or if he is. We'll see. AC2 only has a refire penalty of one if you have five or higher guts, you ignore it. Didn't know that. Uh, all right, we should think about that. Something to think about immediately is the recoil. 